Let's gather together on the sound of a bell. Just come in. Say a kind word to yourself that you're taking this time to meditate. Whether you fall asleep or just rest or are doing it amid other activities, you're doing yourself a kindness, just listening. Just being present without too many other distractions. Just being. It's time to settle in and settle down, letting gravity take over, letting stillness take over, letting the quiet take over, just admitting in all of the things you might resist during an active day. The whoosh of a life slowing down, becoming more quiet. More still. You might take a moment to notice your breath, where you are, as it is right now, without judgment, but perhaps bringing a greater and more generous awareness to that basic life process. breathing, you're keeping yourself alive through conscious and unconscious acts. You are giving yourself gifts of more life. You may want to start deepening the breath in and lengthening the breath out. And even as you do, you could consider orienting the air and its oxygen towards places and muscles that need support and release. Maybe with each exhale you use the most ancient of breathing sounds, Sela. In deep, out, Sela. Letting the earth draw you down. The quiet draw you in and the 
the darkness, drawing away at the edges of your sight, filling you with calm. Embracing yourself like a beloved child with a deep, abiding, and eternal love. Begin by letting go of the day that was, releasing surrendering what preceded this moment of meditation. Recognizing that all that was good and bad excitements and mistakes is not now. Only now is now. And in every day, certain meannesses crept in. Someone picked a fight can't remember who started it, or even why. Can you forgive? Not necessarily for their sake, but for yours. Can you let go of any resentment that might perturb your rest? And just as in every day, someone bumps into us physically or emotionally, we are ruffled. Someone has surely hurt us and we have surely injured another. Even if you're not ready, you begin to contemplate asking forgiveness just, just for this moment. Letting go. Maybe you notice or just imagine the light fading. Less light entering your eyes, the world dimming and dimming in volume, fragments of the edges of dreams drift into your reality. Maybe you start to lose touch with what's real and a sweet or warm dream finds its way into your imagination. Your consciousness becomes less than 100%. And somewhere in all that, perhaps you can take a moment to realize 
that everything is connected. That we are all one. That the foundation of the universe is a single event. And that it's all connected. And all unique. that fills you with love, awe, gratitude, and mystery. That at every moment, in every diverse and particular experience, all things are connected. And you are sheltered. You are protected from the storm. Shielded by a great wing. A mighty fortress. Protected from distress. Healed, safeguarded, sated and full. And you're breathing. Maybe again as you breathe out, you breathe out on the word sala, the ancient word for the exhale. You lie down in peace and wholeness, sheltered in peace and wholeness, guarded until the time comes to awake. As you go out of conscious time, and when you come back to conscious time, you will be protected. Day and night. You breathe in. You breathe out using the word Salah on your exhale. And the universe is blessing you and shepherding you and guarding you. The universe is looking at you with illumination and grace, shining, radiant. The universe turns its face to you and grants you wholeness, fullness, and peace. When we sleep, there are great and good forces around us, 
safeguarding our bodies and spirits. The day is filled with mystery and wonder. And the night is filled with calm. All the questions you have, you can rest at your right side with the great and good force responsible for wonderment. Days require exertion, exercise, heavy lifting, courage, And at night, you can put aside all of that striving at your left side with the great and good spirit responsible for vigor. During the day, we get lost, can't find our way, confused. And at night, there is a spirit holding a lamp for us, just past our feet, guiding us through the darkness. During days, we have aches, pains, sufferings, and sorrows. At night, there can be a great and good force responsible for your healing, resting just behind you. And above it all, a nurturing presence, a loving force, the whole universe entire, watching out for you. You are safe and secure, guarded and protected. Maybe you're starting to drift off. Maybe you're no longer keeping track of your breath or even much aware of your body. Maybe you need to fidget one last time, adjust, wiggle, scratch, and you can breathe in one more time and exhale on the word Sela. You can sleep knowing that the world is right, ordered, unending, and glorious. And you are held in the bosom and hand of the universe, protected, and have no 